All right, let's see here. Who do I want to go to? Uh, Sean, Pleasant Hill, California, the great KSFO. Go. Thanks, Mark. Mark, um, my friend is a, an American Mexican, and his dad told me today that there's no accident that he timed it for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a national holiday in Mexico. Uh, J- uh, November 20th, 1910, they overthrew the dictatorship of the government, and he feels that He's tying these two dates together. Um, make what you're way. saying, let me just understand. It's National Revolution Day in Mexico tomorrow. That's what I said, right? National Revolution Day? Yeah, That's National right. Revolution yes. Day, right? Yes, yes. And he doesn't think it's an accident that he's timing it. He said he could have waited until Friday, but he's doing it tomorrow because of the national pride, the celebrations that will be going on. You well, know what? You know what? Let me slow you down. I don't want to hit this too fast and move on. This is a very important point. I think your friend is exactly right. It's National Revolution Day in Mexico. That's Sean's point. This is a big deal in Mexico. This was their, actually they've had many, but this is considered their big revolution in overthrowing, as uh, Sean said, the dictatorship there. So National Revolution Day in Mexico is the day here in the United States where Obama, uh, conducts himself like a despot so uh, and conducts his own revolution of sorts, not for the people, but for centralized government. Isn't it ironic? Amazing. Go ahead. Ironic. Mark, one other point his dad said to me. He said if he uses the status, uh, refugee status tomorrow, he said so much for keeping families together. He said any Europeans in the country here illegally will still have to go home. Does that make sense? No, I don't pretend to understand that. But who knows? Well, let's let's first find out what he does exactly, and then we'll then we'll be able to uh, break it down into its little pieces. We just know that what he's going to do is on such a broad scale, without any statutory authority. It's quite. It's not even no statutory authority in defiance of Congress, which was which does not want to pass a statute that would include what he's going to do. Obama's acting on his own, but. Thank you, Sean. Very, very important. In fact, don't hang up. I'm going to send you my book, uh, my dad's book, Malice Toward None. Thank you very much. So let the word go out, and it will. This is the real echo chamber. This is the cleanup hitter show. Tomorrow in Mexico is a big deal. It's National Revolution Day, and as Sean pointed out, they they had a revolution. It's actually a ten year revolution. Uh, that ended in uh, 1910, 1911. And November 20th is the date, the annual date of the celebration, National Revolution Day. And you have to know that the woman advising Obama in the White House, as I pointed out in one of my earlier books, is the former uh, uh, head of uh, National Council of the Race, La Raza. And she knows it's National Revolution Day in Mexico. Trust me, Obama knows it's National Revolution Day in Mexico. And Obama has already, already successfully instituted in many respects a quiet coup, which is ongoing. That's what this is. And the morons in the media have missed the whole damn thing because they're so busy cheerleading and they're so blind.